Once you have established your lighting setup and arranged your scene to achieve the desired composition. Remove any unnecessary items or distractions. Now it's time to hit record and capture your clips. But when you transfer your recorded footage to the Premiere Pro timeline, you might notice that you need just a few extra frames to work with. Now you can easily fix that using Premiere Pro's new feature called Generative Extend. And seriously, this is the most insane editing tool I've ever used. So in this video, we will dive into all the new features that Premiere Pro 2025 brings to the table. Premiere Pro makes project creation much easier. When you click on a new project, it will pop up a new project creation dialog box. Here type your project name and set the project location. If you want to use a project template, you can select it here. If you want to add media directly from the project panel, you can select skip import mode. Select the settings icon to access the project settings. In the color settings, here you can enable auto detected log and raw media. This means when you work with log profile footages, Premiere Pro will automatically detect and convert them to Rec. 709. Next we have scratch disk and ingest settings. The apparent settings have been revamped. Instead of a simple slider for brightness levels, Premiere Pro now features three different color modes, light, dark, and darkest. Additionally, an accessible color contrast button allows users to adjust contrast settings according to their preference. And you will notice several interface updates. The audio meters now feature a darker background, and the selected tools in the tools panel are highlighted in blue. You can try Premiere Pro for a 7-day free trial by checking out the link under the description. Generative Extend is now available in the Premiere Pro beta version. So open the Creative Cloud app and click on Beta Apps. Locate Premiere Pro Beta, install it if you haven't already, or click Open if it's already installed. Let's try out the Generative Extend feature. Here as we can see the music continues a bit, but the last clip ends here and we want to extend this footage using the Generative Extend. So go to the bottom of the toolbar and select the Generative Extend tool. Next, click the end of this clip and drag it to the right. The tool will begin preparing and generating the extension, which takes about 20 to 30 seconds to complete. Remember that you will need an active internet connection during the generation process. Let's also try to extend the sound effect. And the best part is that you can work on other tasks while the generation process. Alright, let's look at what has been generated. Oh my goodness, it's really surprising. At first look, you wouldn't notice that it's AI generated. But when we preview it slowly, we can see that the generated footage is slightly more exposed than the original footage. But we can fix that. We need to make a cut to the generated footage. Move over to the Lumetri Color tab, then increase the contrast and reduce the exposure a bit. To make the transition smoother, let's add a cross dissolve between them. I think it looks much better. Now let's review the generated sound effects. This generated sound effects result is decent, but we can always regenerate them if needed. Simply right click on AI generated and select generate again. You can also provide feedback on the results. Under the project tab, you will find a generated media bin. This bin contains all your generated footage and sound effects. I've also tested this on three different types of footage to evaluate the results. I'm satisfied with the first two clips, but for the last one, we can see that it's struggling with generation. This is because the clip contains multiple characters and various types of motion. Currently, this Generative Extend tool is in the testing phase with limitations. Generative Extend for videos allows a maximum extension of 2 seconds. It supports resolutions of 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 with a 16 9 aspect ratio, frame rates between 12 to 30 fps and 8-bit SDR video. Generative Extend can extend audio by up to 10 seconds, but it doesn't support spoken dialogue and music clips due to copyright issues. Currently, mono and stereo audio formats are compatible. 
Now we can use Adobe Stock Audio inside the Essential Sound Panel. Where you can find the stock sound effects tab, let's try searching for Jungle Walk sound effects. And make sure that you are connected to the internet. There's no result. Let's try Forest Walk instead. These sound effects don't match our scene. Let's try to find an ambient sound. The best part is that when you press play on a music track or sound effect, it will start playing with your timeline media. I think this ambient sound will be perfect for this scene. To add this sound to your sequence, simply drag and drop it onto your timeline. But it's important to check the music license to see if it's free or not, since Adobe Stock Music and Sound Effects require purchase. Simply click the cart icon to check the licensing details. As you can see that, I need to purchase a license for this sound effect from the Adobe Stock website. But let me show you an alternative. This is called Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound is the best restriction-free platform for music and sound effects, so you will never have copyright issues. They also provide a free plugin for Premiere Pro. Epidemic Sound offers over 200,000 professional sound effects across more than 700 categories. To add music or sound effects to your project, simply click the download button and the file will appear in your project panel. Then you can simply drag and drop it to your timeline. I need to slow down the speed to match the footstep. Alright, I think now it's perfect for me. Let's find out a jungle ambient sound. I think this ambient sound creates a natural atmosphere for this scene. My favorite feature of Epidemic Sound is that it can suggest music that matches your video content. Simply click on Search by Video. Trust me, this feature saves me so much time compared to searching blindly for music. And here you can explore over 50,000 high quality royalty free music tracks. I think this one aligns well with the mood and vibe of the scene. For 30 day free trial of Epidemic Sound, you can check it out under the description link and you can cancel it anytime. When you decide it provides value for your content, then you can go for the subscription. And if you subscribe annually, it costs just $7.99 per month. The Epidemic Sound plugin is available for Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects and Audition. Recently, Epidemic Sound launched the DaVinci Resolve plugin as well. You can also download the Epidemic Sound mobile app, which lets you easily access to your library and find music wherever you go. Premiere Pro now features a powerful tool that automatically translates your captions, helping you to reach a global audience. Currently, it supports 18 languages for automatic caption translation. To translate your captions, first open the text panel from the window menu. Then transcribe your voiceover. After the transcription is complete, click Captions and select Create Captions from Transcript. In the caption preferences, you can customize settings. I prefer a character length of 36, duration of 1.2 seconds, and single line format. Then click on create captions. Once caption creation is complete, you will see a new translate captions button. 
Click on it to open the translation menu. Select your main voiceover language, then choose the target languages for translation. For example, I would like to translate my captions to Chinese and German language. Under advanced preferences, adjust the character length, minimum duration and line format. Finally, click the translate button to begin the process. Here you can see it started translating the captions with two new subtitle layers added, one for Chinese language and another for German language. And there we go. Let's hide the English captions layer and enable the Chinese captions. Premiere Pro now features a powerful tool that automatically translates your captions, helping you to reach a global audience. Premiere Pro now features a powerful tool that automatically translates your captions, helping you to reach a global audience. Now we can add multiple language captions at the same time. Simply select the captions layer and adjust its position from the properties panel. Premiere Pro now features a powerful tool that automatically translates your captions. The graphics and properties panels are now separated. The essential graphics panel has transformed into a graphics template. This panel is allows users to browse and import graphics. And there is no longer for editing controls. Editing controls have been moved to the properties panel, where you can now customize your graphic templates. By the way, if you want to learn how to create this MOGA template, check out my previous video. Now we can edit multiple text layers at the same time in the properties panel. For example, changing the text size, colors, fonts and other customization. When footage is imported and dragged onto the timeline, you may notice a mismatch warning due to resolution differences with the sequence. And clips appear too small or don't match the sequence settings. Previously, we used scale and fit to frame size options. Now, Premiere Pro offers fit and fill options in the properties panel, making it easier for users to adjust footage according to sequence settings. Also, we can scale, position and opacity controls for multiple clips directly in the properties panel. Additionally, the crop effect is now built in, allowing you to manipulate aspect ratio directly within the properties panel. Speed adjustments are now accessible directly in the properties panel, making the workflow more efficient. Premiere Pro now automatically recognizes various log footage color space. In the Lumetri color tab, click on settings, then click the source clip drop down arrow. And you can see it has automatically detected my media color space as Sony S-Log3 Cine. And if you disable input color management, you will see the original log footage. But if you use stock footage, then you have to do it manually from the override media color space. Here, select your correct color space format. Under the edit section, you will now notice two different tabs. The first one is for your source file and the second one is for your sequence. That means now we can color grade the video directly to the source file. For a quick example, let's make a rough cut and keep the best parts of this clip. Alright, here you can see the first cut of this clip is selected. Let's move on to the Lumetri color tab and click on the source file. Now let's do some basic color adjustments. And it was our before and after. Now you can see all of the cuts are graded identically to our first cut because we applied the color adjustments to the source file. So we no longer need an adjustment layer for source file color grading. Under the effect controls tab, we can apply the same process. So click on the source file. Here I'm going to apply the tone coloring preset on it. Let's make some adjustments. And there we go. Now we can edit all source files together without using an adjustment layer. In the effect controls tab, crop fields are now integrated directly into the motion parameters, allowing for quick adjustments without needing to search for separate crop effects. A button in the bottom left corner of the program monitor now allows direct manipulation of clips and making it easier to resize and rotate. Additionally, Clicking this button's drop-down arrow enables a more intuitive cropping interface. As you can see some visual curves on my audio clips. These are interactive fade handles. Now you can add fades and transitions more quickly. And you can drag fade handle to create audio fades. Hold the option key while dragging to constrain the adjustment. Up and down control the slope, while left and right adjust the duration and drag the crossfade handle to create custom crossfades between clips. 
And that's all the new features in Premiere Pro 2025. Let me know in the comments which feature you love the most. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.